Yeah. So uh, no no families, somebody with a, a stable income. Yeah. Well, at least one person in the family that has a stable income. Yes, very important. And um, then you know possessed about <laughs> the environment, possessed about plants, and and wanting to plant trees where people only plant grass and call grass revegetation of an area. So. So those are the ingredients to a... Oh, the ingredients for <laughs> making a good wetland keeper? Yeah. It's going great yeah. early. Possession. First, first and foremost, they have to be possessed. <laughs> By an extreme passionate. desire to... Passionate. Passionate, I guess, is a better way to put it. Okay. Yeah. Strong-willed. Strong-willed. After eight years of doing string keeper volunteer work, we started the... Wetland Partners, or seven years, because there, we saw there was no protection for wetlands, there was no connectiveness to our salmon-bearing streams, and, and because none of our districts are willing to look at watershed planning, uh, we went after wetlands in an attempt to link them to our salmon-bearing streams and form some protection, so that's how we got into all the frogs. And But we, we just thought it was a vacant area that with no protection and no ed limited education. And in West Vancouver, it's considered a, a place for a school or parking lot because you've got flat land that's easily drained and filled, and it's really a high premium in an area with such a topography. So generally, all schools, malls, and churches are all on wetlands, and we don't have a lot left as you move west So, in some of the steeper terrains. So there's some big wetlands in there, and, and ultimately our concern was they were all going to become playing fields and uh, no compensation. There is no fisheries compensation for filling in a wetland. So that's why we're out looking for endangered species, be it tailed frog, red-legged frog, anything that's using our wetlands, uh, and even some of the bird species that come into our wetlands. Um, we make note of all that, but in an attempt to try to educate, but ultimately to protect and that kind of thing. So that's what got us into it, uh, I guess. Um, there wasn't really anyone else doing it, and it was falling between the loops on everything we looked at. So. Yeah, that's why we made that decision, just because there was no one else, so we went for the underdog. <laughs>